This final fight on the horizon, Iron Will Young stepped onto the weigh-in scales for the last time today. Young has never fought outside of his hometown of Toowoomba and, he, and has every intention of recording one last win in the Garden City. He's heading into his final fight, a two-time Australian champion. And he wants to leave the sport of boxing with the Australian super featherweight title around his waist. I've got a clear state of mind, you know. Brennan and I have worked very, very hard in the gym um, on various game plans. He's been the smaller man in all ten fights. And his 11th and final bout is no different. While he might have more experience than me and, and have a few advantages like height and reach, size, but... Um, you know, it's like the old saying, it's not the size of the dog in the fight. Ben Warburton has talked the talk, and now it's time for the two men to walk the walk. The fighters, sometimes they change, like when it sets in, OK, this is really happening, and now he's met me face to face, and I'm sure he knows I'm the real deal. For the first time, an Australian amateur title will feature on the undercard. We like to create these opportunities. They work as hard as the pros. Uh, they're totally dedicated to the sport. And to give them the opportunity on the big stage is something we're very proud of. Up and coming female boxer Mel Baker, one recipient of this opportunity. It's a really great opportunity, massive. I've been training really hard for it. Also great just to be in my hometown, having a fight in front of all my home crowd. After claiming silver at the Golden Gloves tournament, she's confident she can add the Australian amateur title to her trophy cabinet. The fights take place at Rumours International, heading off at 6pm tomorrow night. Kieran Wagstaff, Win News.